Boom, what up, it's your boy Dante, and today I'm back with another sneaker. Uh, yeah, I did not buy this sneaker, I did not steal this sneaker. My buddy Paul gave it to me because I needed a shoe to play basketball in, and they didn't fit him anymore. And the shoe was the Adidas Crazy 8s. These was originally Kobe's signature shoe. As you can see, the 8 right there. Very, it's in black, so in black. And this was Kobe's, I want to say first Kobe's first signature shoe probably with adidas if you didn't know kobe used to be signed with adidas before he jumped to nike kobe had what three shoes he had the uh these ones the adidas crazy eights twos and i can't remember the other ones but they're like a bulkier shoe a lot of players a lot of players wore them if you search up james harden's shoes you'll see them in all silver damian lillard had a pair in all red and i think john wall had a pair too but besides that guys um he gave me the shoe, and this is like a retro version. It's not an original version. This is like the Brooklyn Nets colorways, you can see. And they started dropping a whole bunch of colorways of these. Maybe around last year's All-Star game, I want to say, because Amon Shumper was wearing them. Then I think they had a colorway for uh, Ben Macklemore. I don't know if Ben Macklemore wore these. Not these, like, exact model, but I can't remember. But I know they had a bunch of colorways. Like, the Black History Month colorway was pretty dope. They had a cork colorway, which was a cork. Like, all this was cork right here, like this uh, zig kind of looking thing. And then, like, the underlay right here, you can see, it was, like, purple. It was pretty dope. But I did play basketball in these because I didn't have anything else to play in. So I'm just going to do a quick little performance review on these. As you can see, the traction is herringbone. It's very aggressive, but it's also very tight. So debris will get in there. And would I recommend these outside? Yeah, I, I would recommend these outside. They're a very tough rubber, but just be careful. Of course, with any shoe, they're not going to last forever. As you can see, in the bottom, they have a torsional support. See it? Torsion system. Yeah. And what that is, it's just for torsional support. It's just, you know, kind of like, um, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. You know what I'm talking about, though. Carbon fiber. There you go. Carbon. It's like a carbon fiber plate. You know what I'm talking about? And I think Adidas really doesn't do the torsion support anymore. They're usually into sprint frame now. With uh, like the D. D Lillard 1s and the D Rose 6 boots. They have the sprint frame to give you support and torsional support and all that. And the materials on these is like a very like... I want to say this is a patent leather. And it's like a stingray. Like you can see like the patent is like stingray. And it's very stiff. Like if you can hear the squeak, that's how you know this is like... This is an all leather shoe, guys. This shoe, I think, was not made for basketball because the tongue is leather. Like, everything on this is just leather or a synthetic overlay. Like, right here, this is just a synthetic overlay right here. And these were so stiff, guys. When you go from Roshi Runs, because I was in Roshi Runs all day, and you go from these, you can tell the difference because your foot would not bend in these hoes. Like, it's literally, it's these are really hard to bend, actually. And the materials were kind of stiff and they're kind of uncomfortable and it just hot boxed your foot because there's no ventilation in these because it's all synthetic leather. For support, support was okay. I didn't have any heel slippage. The only thing I'd recommend, if you do get a pair of these, which I don't know, God knows why you would, there's, there is a loophole right here. See, there's like a loop and this loop connects to the back with the seat belts. And if you put this, and you lace it up, and you pull it through, this will tighten in the back. So don't forget, because, and you might have to double lace these, because the laces are very long on these. And, hmm. I think that's about it, guys. This is what I'm going to do real quick. They were very uncomfortable. I did not like these shits. Like, I would never play in these shits. They hurt my foot. They were hard to bend. My feet were sweating. But the traction was okay. So, if you're going to pick up a pair, I'd get them for just... You know, and stencil reasons. I want to get for performance reasons. I just get them just to, like, have them in your collection. Maybe if you like this kind of model, if you were a Adidas guy, I just get them just, just to have a pair. Because these were awful. But that's it for me, guys. It's a high shoe. I wouldn't get it personally myself because, you know, I, it's, it's, it's a shitty shoe, honestly. There's some good assets about it, but the cushioning was not there because it's a 90 shoe. They really had no cushioning on there. 
It was very uncomfortable. It was a, it was an uncomfortable ride. If I could pick between another ninety shoe and that, I'd pick any other ninety. I'd play in a pair of Converse before I played. Okay, well maybe not. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you for the love and support. Share with all your friends. Share on wherever you share cool things. Share on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that bullshit. Follow me on Instagram. There will be something fucking somewhere on here. My Instagram, my Twitter will be on here. Go follow me on that. And uh, turn on my notifications so you know when every time I post a new video. Thank you for the love and support. And I'm out, bitch.